Hi everyone, welcome to the collective reading for the next week ahead. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what the energy updates are. I hope you're all doing well. Please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps others to hear these messages. So if they're helping you in any way, shape or form, we definitely wanna help others. Okay, I'm anxious to get going as I'm sure you are. I'm sorry this reading is a little bit on the late side but I've been moving around furniture for my daughters all day. So it's, um, they decided they wanted to move their rooms around, which is fine. It's just that I'm a little tired. So that's why this reading is late. So I apologize, but they're off for the summer and that's just how it goes. But we're here now. So let's start digging in. If this resonates for you, fantastic. Leave me comments below and let me know how it resonates for you. I really appreciate it. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. And there will be a part two to these messages. So if this resonates for you, I'm gonna dig deeper into the energy and we'll sneak peek a month ahead. We're gonna sneak peek into September. We're gonna focus on August now. Okay, let's see what's going on. Kangaroo, unsettled times and need to plan ahead. So Spirit's definitely saying that, you know, be careful with your money, your finances, with everything. You need to sort of plan ahead here and save for a rainy day here. So be careful, okay? So there could be some uh, challenges coming towards you in the future, whether that is a job, you know, um, whether that is finances, you know, one affects the other kind of thing. So just be careful. There's certain things that may be a bumpy road ahead for some of you here. You will be receiving or giving a, a precious gift here. So, you know, it can be that somebody wants to offer you some help perhaps in the near future if you are going through unsettled times, which is great. If you've got a great support system around you, I feel like, you know, um, either this could be you giving, but it could also be you receiving. Uh, if, if you are going to be going through a, a difficult time here in the near future, you know, I do feel like you ha will have support around you. That's beautiful. So Spirit is saying that perhaps in October, so maybe in October you may be finding that things will be a bit challenging for you. And if that's the case, well, you are being forewarned and forewarned. And to be forewarned, I always say, is to be forearmed. So plan ahead, you know, save for a rainy day. It never hurts because at the end of the day, if you have a beautiful little nest egg, think of all the things you could do with it. Um, if need be in the future, you know, maybe plan for a trip or something if you end up not needing it, but it's always better to have a little bit saved just in case. So October may be a challenge for some of you here. Wow. So maybe something that affects a career that you're not expecting, or maybe you change careers. And so you just have to kind of like, you know, how you, when you first start a, a certain career or job, you start here sometimes and then you have to work your way up. So it can be that that's going to be a challenge. Maybe it's a, a pay downgrade or a change of jobs or careers, uh, whatever it happens here. Just again, I keep getting the message of save for a rainy day. So that's going to apply for some of you. Let's see what's going on. Angels and spirits with the newest messages for everybody here for the month of August. What do you got for us? What are the most important messages? What are the most important spirit messages we need to hear for the month of August for the collective angels and spirits? What are the messages we need to know? This can bring up love, career, finance, anything, okay? Okay, so there's something new coming. So it definitely can be career. Yeah, it's going to be something that happens out of the blue. So it's going to cause some challenges for you. So Spirit wants you to be prepared, plan ahead. Okay, there's going to be kind of a bumpy road coming ahead for some of you here. And again, for some of you, it's involving your career. Could be something happening in or around October. But Spirit definitely is saying that no matter what is happening here, it will move you towards a more peaceful time. So you're going to have to go through some disruption here in order to get to a better place overall. It will bring you peace and happiness. So if you've been going through your career, you've been struggling, you haven't been happy there and you decide to change it, that's fine. You will have harmony at the end of that, but you will have to go through some bumps and bruises um, in order to come out the other side uh, to, to a happy place here. So it can be you're going to start something like a brand new business. Again, for some of you here, it could be brand new business. And there's something you have to sacrifice here in order to get there. But Spirit is saying it will be worth it. At the end of the day, it will make you more happy. Okay, so that's that's all good. There's something you need to let go of. Spirit is saying you will have choices to make. So you're moving on from something or someone here. Okay, for some of you, it could be career-related. For others of you, it's a person. Um, for others of you, you could be actually moving. Uh, you could be moving houses, <clears throat> cities, states, countries, and it's going to be challenging financially because of the expense of that big move. It's a big disruption in your life. It's, it's something that 
you know, may hit you out of nowhere. It's something you don't expect. So it, it's a sacrifice that you have to make in order to get to your happy place. Okay, bottom of the deck. Yeah, so somebody may need to speak up and say, you know, it's time for me to leave this career. It's time for me to leave this position. It's time for me to go forward and have success here and go towards what it is I want in order for me to have my ultimate happiness at the end of the day. You know, you will find that you have to make sudden choices here and it will affect your life here but at the same time spirit is saying that this will be a precious gift of peace and happiness for you that you will succeed okay but it's not going to be smooth sailing right away it can be that there has been somebody around you or again anybody affecting your energy that has been deceptive or jealous of you or whoever you're dealing with here and that can be what part of the unsettled times are. It can be that someone had to sacrifice another person, place, or thing in order to come towards you or you them. Or for you to embrace this gift, this new job, this new career, if it's financially related here. Um, it can be people are jealous because they see that you're moving forward very successfully here. That you are very outspoken. That you are going to triumph and that you really... Um, you really go after what you want is what I'm getting here. Beautiful. Spirit is saying that some of you are having memories of, of love here. It could be somebody from your past that you're thinking about here. Uh, it can be that perhaps you've decided to move away from this person. You're having memories of them, but you've decided to move on because you haven't been happy. Okay, somebody's moving on towards something that's going to be a lot happier, a lot more peaceful. It's a blessing coming in and certain sacrifices and choices have to be made in order to move on to your happy place. And things again are going to move quite quickly. So some of you may definitely be going towards your shiny star here, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, and you're not going to look back and things are going to move quite quickly. And spirit is telling you, you need to trust your intuition and because there is some kind of jealousy or envy around you of what it is you're going for and what it is you're succeeding at and, and overcoming here, the fact that you are going, I feel quite aggressively and quite passionately uh, for what you want here. Spirit is telling you, you may have to stand your ground, okay? But ultimately, there's going to be celebration. There's going to be happiness. But there does there does need to be like the truth spoken so we have throat chakra and the truth so somebody is going to speak their mind about what they want they're trusting their guidance they're trusting their divine guidance here you or whoever you're dealing with this is beautiful this is like i'm ready to go for what i want here and there's going to be people around me that are jealous that i'm embracing that i'm moving forward that you know i've decided to go in this direction here um, that I'm making choices that make me happy here. And there's going to be people that don't like it. There's going to be people that don't like it. But ultimately, at the end of the day, it's going to bring you a ton of prosperity, a ton of happiness here. Okay? So definitely, like I was saying, some of you may be dealing with somebody in a position of authority. It could be a boss here, um, the owner of a, com a company, or you may be becoming a boss or the owner of a company. Like you might be self-employed, running your own business, being an entrepreneur. Whatever it is, you're going to be very passionate about it. You're going to be very excited. This is something new and exciting. And that's what people are seeing is that you're excited, you're ready to move forward, you're making choices, and you're doing well financially, and they're kind of jealous about it, okay? Somebody may actually open up their mouth here and say, hey, you know, like... Uh, I want to help you out here. I want to join you here. I want to celebrate with you here. Either way, it's <laughs> like spirits his, says you are working super hard. You keep putting the effort into this new creation of yours and you're going to skyrocket here. Okay. I feel like somebody is learning how to actually stand up for themselves and speak up for themselves here because before they were definitely suffering in silence. So this is fantastic. Somebody is definitely going after what they want. I'm going to pull some tarot charms here. What are the messages, please, for the collective? Yeah, I want to believe. So somebody is going after their dreams, their hopes, their wishes here. They're persevering, okay, because this is somebody who's stayed quiet for so long. They've suffered. They've, they haven't opened up their mouth because, you know, there were people around them that were low vibrational. They just weren't happy for their success or for what it is that they wanted. Perhaps they maybe didn't believe in the same things, you know, like you could have that kind of thing. But this is somebody that's like standing up and saying, hey, this is what I want. This is what I'm going for. And I feel like they're done suffering in silence here. 
you know, they're becoming that authority figure. So whether that's you or whoever you're dealing with, wow, just as I said that, we've got the strength of the lion here. So definitely somebody is, <laughs> is having a great deal of strength. This is somebody who's loyal. Okay, so this is spirit saying that, you know, if this is somebody coming towards you, you know, they're going to be very loyal. They're going to be very strong. They want to believe in your connection here. For others of you, this is you persevering. You're as strong as that lion. You're very loyal. Um, you're going after your dreams here. Either way, you are going to experience a ton of beautiful growth here. Wow. This transition, this change, your desires that you're going for here, it's going to allow you to anchor yourself because... We have here that you're working very hard and spirit is seeing the energy that you're putting out there. And because of that, you're going to be solid. You're going to be solid like a rock. Okay, so you are definitely going to be recognized. Okay, wow, there's that shiny star again. Okay, so look at that. So spirit is saying, yeah, you'll be able to anchor yourself. And not only that, but you're going towards your true life purpose. You're going towards your destiny here. And that's what spirit is recognizing you for. And I feel like some of you feel like you have to kind of sneak away to go after your destiny here because of the jealousy around you or the envy around you of you going after what you want. There are really, be careful about the people around you. There are people that are low vibrational around you that are not happy for your success, okay? Uh, it can be others that kind of live in this prehistoric world of this is how things used to be this is how things have to be and and so you're you have people around you here perhaps that don't believe in what you believe in uh, about going after your dreams you know um is kind of what i'm seeing so just be careful about people around you like that okay let's keep going here let me know if this is resonating for you. Again, don't forget to the like button, hit subscribe. It's absolutely free. And hitting that notification bell will get you notified of future readings. Let's see what we got. And then we'll head into part two where I will dig deeper into whoever you're dealing with here, whether it's romantically or whether it's business, your family. Let's see what's going on here for the collective. So Spirit says you are definitely forging ahead. Some of you may be uh, driving. Some of you may be flying here, but either way, uh, you're going on an adventure that's new and exciting here. Yeah, I feel like you've been careful and you've been going slow here. Some of you may be dealing with an earth sign here. Uh, but I also have here that uh, we've got Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer as well. I have all the signs here. I also have Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Spirit says that's okay to take it slow here. Okay, because this is someone that is learning how to stand up for themselves. Yeah, this is someone... Again, flip the energies. This could be who you're dealing with or this could be your energy. Somebody's kind of, you know, not really happy with the way things have been. They've been unhappy for a long time. They've been bored. It's kind of like, I really need to get out there. I really, you know, somebody's realizing in order to have the changes to go after their happiness, to go after their hopes and their wishes here, that they really need to put the effort in. Instead of focusing on, you know, what used to be, I need to start focusing on what could be. And somebody's recognizing that. So even though you're moving slow or they're moving slow, Spirit says there is progress here. You know, because somebody's learning how to speak up for themselves in order to go after what they want. Okay. Yeah, Spirit definitely says things are coming together here. Continue to move forward here. Mm-hmm. Continue to go after what is meant for you here. It will bring you positive results here. It will bring you harmony, okay? Definitely strong earth energy here. So some of you may be very um, focused on your stability, your long-term finances, building a home or uh, traveling, um, then building a home um, or buying a home, purchasing a home. It could be, uh, but it's like... Yeah, wow. I'm going after my happiness. This is the Zolar deck from the 1960s and 1970s, by the way. So these are vintage decks that I'm using. I absolutely love them. This is double confirmation for me that you're going towards your happiness here. You're going to where there's harmony here, where you can have growth and success, where you can have stability. Um, it's like you're waiting for everything to come together. You're moving slowly, but you haven't been... You know, you don't like the opportunities in front of you. So your opportunity, I feel, is at a distance. So it's either you're traveling towards someone. It's not very clear just yet, but you are excited about the future here. You're excited about, you know, going towards your stability and your happiness here. So whether that's a new career here, 
or whether that's a person here you could be celebrating with here in the near future. It could be somebody you already know quite possibly, or you're just celebrating overall that you're traveling, that you're going towards, you know, um, moving somewhere brand new that you've never been before, that you've always wanted to move to somewhere warm and sunny for some of you here. For others of you, this is just, again, going towards pure happiness. It's one of the most happiest cards of the deck of tarot. Uh, the sun energy represents, you know, again, abundance, growth, success. So spirit is saying, yes, continue to put the work in, continue to go for it, continue to stand up for yourself. You know, don't worry about the low vibrational, jealous people. Um, just keep going here. This is because there's somebody around you or your person here that isn't happy for you. Okay. They're refusing to accept change or they're refusing to um, see that there are new blessings out there. So watch out for those that are not happy for you. Okay. Is what I'm getting. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So we have here that we can really put the effort in here and come out with our whole enchilada, our happiness here. If you put in a team effort, okay? So again, that can be within family or that can be within business. Uh, there is growth here. Spirit saying in order to experience growth and this happiness and this harmony, you've got to work together here to uh, build a, a happy place here. Work, family, home, business here. Uh, Spirit says it's all going to come together here. It's like it's like you've made your decision. You know what you want, but you're moving slow because I feel like you feel like you're stepping on toes. Again, there's people that aren't accepting your new exciting uh, experience here, where you're going, your path, your desires here. Okay, but that's okay. Don't let that stop your growth. Don't let that stop your growth is what Spirit's saying. Open your throat, shocker. Speak up for yourself here. You do have the higher ground. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you've thought a lot about this. Look at that. You've been thinking a long time and you want to move forward. This is definitely your destiny here. This is about your hopes, your dreams, your wishes come true. You're going after what is meant for you here. And I feel like you've done a ton of soul searching on exactly what it is you want for your life. And Spirit says, don't be afraid to go for it. Never mind what other people say. Keep going. Do what is best for you here. Um, you could be healing from something you've been through in the past. It can be that you two were focused on things that, you know, were um, keeping you unhappy here. Okay. You felt like you couldn't speak up for yourself for some of you here. So, you know, you've been trying to figure out how to change things in your life. And, and now I feel like you're ready to communicate that you're ready to you're ready to get away um i feel like you're being very smart and you're really kind of mapping out what you want to do yeah there are definitely people around you that are road blocking you are trying to here okay don't let that happen to you spirit is saying choose wisely and keep going here keep going uh, we've got the Eight of Wands twice, which indicates air travel, um, or it can be that you're going by car, but either way, like speak up for yourself, communicate, travel, do what you need to do here. Wow, to create your happy place, to go towards that beautiful rainbow, toward, you know, a family here. You may require traveling here with your family or going towards and building a family with someone here. Someone you feel that you can have long-term stability with here for some of you, definitely here. Um, you want to uh, come together with this person. I feel like you're really trusting your intuition here. You're really getting divine guidance. Make sure you keep listening to it because it's, yeah. Wow, we've got the loyal dog here and the loyal dog there. Look at that. So you're going towards perhaps somebody that's very loyal or you know will be very loyal. Somebody who you can have long-term happiness with success here. I feel like you've been going through a big state of confusion um, and I feel like you feel separated from a lot of people that you have been around because they haven't been on your side. They haven't been uh, supportive of you. Yeah, you're going towards somebody that you you see long term foreverness with here. This is like, I, here I am. I'm home. I'm bringing you my leash. I'm here to stay. Do you want me? You know, I'm here. Wow, this is intense. <laughs> could be somebody from your childhood or this could be somebody that you feel you can have children with or could bind family with here wow they bring you the sun the happiness here again the sun 
All right, we are gonna start digging in part two. I'm gonna dig into this person's energy. I feel like, you know, if this is you, psh, keep going. Absolutely, you are headed in a beautiful direction. Don't worry about what other people think or if they're jealous, okay? I'm seeing that this is uh, going to bring you happiness and harmony. This is absolutely your divine path here. For others of you, there's somebody coming towards you and they're having to leave behind those that are jealous. And this is somebody that's been unhappy for a long time. And they're speaking up and they're coming towards you. They're traveling here. They want to build a foundation with you and have a happy family. So either way, it's a win-win. Let's start digging into part two. So for those of you leaving me now, I'll see you next time. For those of you that want to meet me on part two, it's at the end of this reading in the top right-hand corner. You can choose to pick part two there on an individual basis, or you can choose to join the Shacey Spiritual Warrior family, which is pinned down below in the description area, as well as the comment section. It gives you unlimited part twos, okay? I wish you much love, much light. I thank all of you for being here. I will see you all again soon. For those of you meeting me on part two, I will be right there. Namaste. Bye for now. Four.